Hello heroes, this is How to GoPro channel. Today we continue talking about reducing noise in Photoshop. Noise is generally most prominent in shadow areas and against dark colors in your images. The higher the source setting on your camera, the more digital noise will be captured. So you have to set the lowest ISO setting, if that's suitable for the environment in which you are capturing. If you use a high ISO, you have to be ready for digital noise. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. It's the best way of keeping up to date with all of how to GoPro great new videos. Let's start. At first, duplicate layer. We will apply the reduced noise filter to this layer. It prevents me from altering the original. Select duplicated layer and go to filter, noise and reduce noise. There is a preview checkbox, so you can see the results of changing settings. There are four settings here. Strange. It controls the overall level of noise reduction that will be applied. Preserve details. If you use a value that's too low, the image will lose a lot of detail. However, anything too high will cancel out the effects of noise reduction. So reducing noise is a real art because you have to find the best balance between strange and preserved details. Reduce color noise. Color noise appears as a variety of colors instead of a color showing as solid. It removes random colored pixel artifacts. Sharpen details. It sharpens pixels on a micro scale, which is similar to what the sharpen filter does. You should probably keep it to the left. So you will have to experiment with these settings until you are satisfied with the result. Next, we will apply surface blur filter. Duplicate layer once more time and go to filter, blur, surface blur. The surface blur filter blurs an image while preserving edges. This filter is useful for creating special effects and for removing noise and graininess. The radius option specifies the size of the area sampled for the blur. The threshold option controls how much the tonal values of neighboring pixels must diverge from the center pixel value before becoming a part of the blur. You have to find the best values for your image. As you know, it's not easy to apply noise reduction to your images. Complete noise removal isn't always possible. As a result, you'll need to use noise reduction carefully. Removing too much noise can result in blurness and a loss of detail. There is still no way to take a noisy image and clean it up completely. I'm just trying to make the image look cleaner. That's the end of our video. Did you enjoy it? Which other way of reducing noise do you apply? Let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe How to GoPro for more great videos just like this one. Bye for now.